What's up everyone, it's Q from Retro Q Gaming, and I couldn't make this fresh off the back of the Nintendo Direct because I didn't get to watch it at the time. I was streaming Portal 2 and I was planning on stopping just before the Nintendo Direct just so I could watch that, but <laughs> Portal 2 was just so damn fun, I just said, you know what, screw it, I'll, I'll watch the Nintendo Direct later and I'll just keep going with Portal 2. Had a shitload of fun, that's not the point. So, during the Nintendo Direct today, I'm not going to go over every announcement and every detail and all in it as well. But there's some great news, and if you know me, you probably already think, oh, what are you talking about the Switch for? You hate the Switch. Wrong. Wrong. I love the Switch. There's just problems with it. But anyway, that's beside the point. So, what am I talking about anyway? Well, you know I've been critical about the potential third-party support Nintendo Switch has or hasn't got, and it looks like that is all going to change now. Now, this is pretty promising. We already know we have a couple of decent proper support coming as, as it is at the moment. We have FIFA 18. I, why do I say we? But FIFA 18 is coming to Nintendo Switch. There's also a couple of other games as well, be it exclusives like Project Octopath Traveler, like the demo you're seeing here right now, which is available on Nintendo Switch to download right now, by the way, if you want to try it out. And not only that, but there's other games too. You've got stuff like WWE 2K18, NBA 2K18, despite some of the micro SD card issues and all. And then recently we had stuff like LA Noire coming to Nintendo Switch as well as the current generation of consoles and all as well. But here is where shit got crazy. And it got to the point where I never thought I would see anything like this. And in the Nintendo Direct today, tonight, whatever you want to call it, Nintendo announced that Bethesda are bringing more support than just Skyrim to the Nintendo Switch. Now, you're, you may be wondering, like, what else are they bringing? Are they bringing something like Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas or Oblivion or something old or something like that? No, they're doing something that surprises me. Now, we all know the ID Tech 6 engine is an absolute beast and it's so glorious and it's an amazing engine. You know that one that runs Doom from 2016? Well, that engine is so good, it can be optimized to run Doom on Nintendo Switch because Doom from 2016 is coming to Nintendo Switch. Now, it doesn't personally, you know, affect me. I have a top-end PC, I don't care. But my point is, there are a lot of people out there who this is going to affect because it's going to be good for them. They can play Doom wherever they want, whenever they want, or they, if they only have a Nintendo Switch and they don't have a PC or a different console, they can play Doom, which is good. And not only that, now, because, you know, you can argue, it's like, oh, Doom came out last year, porting of an old game. Eh, game's a year old, deal with it. It's, it's not, not too bad, especially because it's a fucking fantastic game. But... Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, which is coming out later this year, actually next month, on PS4, Xbox One, and PC, is also running on ID Tech 6, and it's also coming to Nintendo Switch. A brand new game, brand new release game, is coming to Nintendo Switch. Now, I will say this, Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, is going to be arriving a little bit later on Nintendo Switch. It's actually coming out next year, 2018, at some point on Nintendo Switch. But the point is, this is a brand new game running, granted, on a fucking phenomenal engine coming to Nintendo Switch. So it looks like Bethesda is not just doubling down, but they're tripling down. They have Skyrim coming out, which now has a release date of 17th of November, if anyone missed it. They have Doom coming out this year. They have... Wolfenstein 2 New Colossus coming out next year. And on top of this, we have the stuff we already talked about. We've got, you know, your NBA 2K18s, your WWE 2K18, you've got your LA Noir, you've got whatever from Capcom, although Capcom are being really dodgy about it because ever since Ultra Street Fighter 2 sold way more than they expected, they've announced a slew of other stuff that hasn't been coming to Nintendo Switch. Specifically, look at Ukami HD, which was just announced earlier this week for PS4, PC, and Xbox One, but not Switch for some reason. So you see what I mean. I mean, they're a bit sketchy on that, but they're working on it. They're working on it because they do have Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2 pack, but no matter what I say and com rightfully complain about when it comes to actual issues with things like internal storage, potential support, and, you know, the whole forced micro SD card on certain physical versions of games, 
no matter what I say and think about all of that, the fact is that Nintendo is now getting this third-party support. And even if it doesn't affect me personally, it's nothing but a good thing. Same as I said earlier in this video, you're going to have the people who are only Nintendo gamers. Or you're going to have the people who want to buy the version of it so they can play it on the go. Now, again, it's not me, but the point is consumers and other companies will see that publishers, developers, whatever, are taking the Nintendo Switch seriously and are giving it support and are making it a viable platform to put your games on and a viable platform to develop your games for, which is a good thing. Now, of course, they showed Super Mario Odyssey, which looks fucking, fucking, fucking amazing. I just, it, it always looked really damn good. But the trailer tonight, they had like a 10 minute segment dedicated to it and everything they showed in tonight just elevated it to so much more. But again, that's not the point of this video because that's I want to talk about third party support. But when you look at stuff like the indie games, you know, that, that doesn't bother me. Granted, you've got a couple of them. You've got stuff like Rocket League. Rocket League is obviously a huge game. It's a huge indie game. And it's good that they're getting something like that. And at the same time, now they're getting more and more and more support from big name publishers, big name developers. Even if they're only getting stuff like Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition instead of Final Fantasy XV Actual Edition, they're getting other stuff in the lines of you know Project Octopath Traveler or whatever else. The point is these companies are taking Nintendo Switch seriously, and that is a good thing. So let me know in the comments section below what you think about anything I've talked about in this video regarding third-party support, Doom, Wolfenstein, Project Octopath Traveler, anything from Square Enix, anything from Capcom, anything from Bethesda anything at all as well as what other games you would like to see on this and anything that was shown in the nintendo direct as well let me know all of that in the comments section below hit the like button hit the subscribe button thank you for watching i will see you in the rest of the videos in my channel